what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? This is a PSA. I made a video entitled, You Wouldn't Believe How Little Americans Know About the Holocaust. And some people lost their minds. I didn't say you wouldn't believe how little blacks know or whites know or Asians know or Latinos know. I said Americans. We don't care about the Jews. We don't care about what happened with the Holocaust. Let's talk about the black Holocaust. Let's talk about this. Listen, man, let me say off the top, I love y'all to death. I love you for real. That should be indicative of the type of stories that I cover and the chances that I take covering those stories. But some people are just stuck. Some people don't want to know what's going on in the world except what's going on with them. This is part of why people are able to be blindsided when it comes to information and when it comes to attacks on their community because they only care about what's going on in their immediate circle. That is a major problem. You ever notice how nosy people say white folks are a lot? People say white folks are nosy, white folks are nosy. White folks want to know what's going on. I don't care if it's in their community or outside. They want to know what's going on. And this can be beneficial to people that are not white also. You can learn a thing or two from that type of mentality. I'm the type of person that I like getting information from different cultures. I like talking to people outside of my immediate circle. I like traveling abroad. I don't like the idea of just being in America and watching the news that's covered by Americans. I like to hear what people in Iran has to say. I like hearing about what's going on in Azerbaijan. I'm interested in what's going on in Finland. Some of you people say, well, why? Because I like the idea of expanding my horizons. I like, that's part of growth to me. Like, I'm not the type of person who is cool with just knowing what I know, right? I really do try to learn something new every single day. So why talk about the Holocaust? Because the objective of this channel is not to vent. It is to engage your intellectual curiosity, inspire critical thought and personal growth. That's it. Some people want to just come and vent and just go off and just talk about crazy stuff all the time. That's not what I do. I'm trying to get some answers, man. I'm trying to see if y'all can give me some answers and we can put our minds together and try to figure this shit out. The Holocaust, like slavery, was not an accident in history. It happened because you had individuals, institutions, and governments that not only legalized discrimination, but they encouraged hatred, racism, and even allowed mass murder to occur. This is why I posted the video about the Holocaust. Man, you know how I say, if you do not recognize your, your history, then you are bound to repeat it. If you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. And don't think the Holocaust couldn't happen again to somebody else. Don't think like slavery. Don't think it can't happen again. It was only, what, 60, 70 years ago that this happened, right? It can happen again. Look at how people are acting now, especially in America. 
Look at how savage people are acting toward each other. Look at all the hatred. It can happen again. Democratic institutions and values are not automatically guaranteed. They're not automatically sustained. They need to be appreciated, nurtured, and protected. No more talk. What the haters talking about?